Are you ready? Yep. Start to lag. The president of the flag, the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Make a motion for two minutes. Second. Bob, the ten dollars service charge that was on Impact or Liquid Fuels—I don't know which one. I can't remember anymore. Um, is being reversed. I don't know what happened. I when I opened or put the initial deposits into the Liquid Fuels and Impact, they were all put in Impact. So then one had to be taken out. Um, and then there was a $10 charge. But I talked to Heidi today. They're going to reverse that and make sure that we don't get any more charges. And the checks somehow got canceled, but then they got reordered. So we should have them. So once we have the checks and um, Citizens of Northern Impact and the um, Citizens of Northern um, Liquid fuels can be closed out. I don't have mm -hmm. crap. I don't have that on here. Liquid fuels still has like a hundred and ninety some thousand in it. So which account do you put the new impact in? The new impact went into the general fund. General fund per citizen? Per, citizen, per citizens, yeah. Okay. I got confirmation today that Birkenheimer has been transferred over from Shimon Canal to per citizens. So a um, couple days, then um, close Shimon Canal out. But what do we want to do with that money? Do we want to put it in a CD, the impact CD? Because it's 100, well, 109,000 is CARES money, so we well, just we want to put it. we got to pay on our mortgage, right? Well, I opened the sinking fund. Um, I had the March balance from tax of 74,000 something, so I deposited that into the sinking fund. So that will take care of monthly interest for a couple months, plus the 66,660, whatever. So that's already taken care of for this year. Oh, it's payment. Well, I mean, we're going to have to put more money into it, but at least it's going to make interest. July's interest and um, August. August payments. But we'll have to put more money into it. But um, I think with the sinking fund, we're not allowed to take money back out. Okay, so you only need to put in what you Right. Which one's a sinking fund here? Um, it's not on here. Oh, you I, just, list it? I just put the deposit in on the first. Oh, okay. So, um, I didn't list it. So, the general fund money, most of it go into First Citizens General Fund, and then at least 109,000 go into First Citizens Impact Money Market. The CD. No, the money market. Oh. Um, which would be. Person is a capital reserve. Yeah, it has thirty thousand in it. Okay. Is that what we want to do, or do we want to put the hundred nine in the citizens of Northern CD? When does that expire? Mm, 2025. But that's the flex CD, which we can draw the money out and leave $25,000. Or $5,000. And what if we put it in for citizens? 
The one that has the 30,000. Can you take that out if you need it? Yeah. I would say put it in for citizens. That's my opinion. Because that's the care of What's the CNN in back? That's just what's left in there? Yes. Okay. Because I knew that I needed to put money for deposit for first citizens, but I didn't want to take it all the way down to nothing. So I just took 30000 Wow. But we can close that one. We can close that out. See yeah, because we don't have any checks out for that one. And there should be one check maybe out, should be coming back for citizens of Northern with fuels, and then we can close that money market. Okay. But I didn't want to close it because I didn't have checks for the new ones yet. You do now. The no. new are coming. They're on their way. Oh. They're coming. Well, I wouldn't close it out. Well, you know, I've checked for that plenty on video. So wait. For CNN. Right. So wait until August? Yeah. Okay. So we'll close the money market accounts in August. So how long will it take it to use up the general fund in Shimon? How long will it take it to use up? Yeah. I think all of the checks are back from that, and Birkenheimer got switched over, so we should be able to close that. That's, up. that's 240 in there now. Uh huh. Okay. Well, it seems like we got a lot of money left in the last one. Not when we get the truck. Yeah, we asked them the other day. Is there anything? I don't know, maybe the end of July. I said, I bet you it'd be August. Who you ask about Dave? Dave. Because he talked to Ted. Talk to Ted. And it's like, yep. Well, they have to hurry to get it ordered. They wanted it ordered so we get it yeah. at a certain time and now. Well, at the meeting of Watson's, remember, he told us, nope, I got it ahead of everybody and it's going to be here in June. beginning of June. And he wait to <clears> see Ted. What he was talking about. Yeah. Well, everything's that way anymore. So yeah, right. I know. Man, I Did understand he don't have a money out from the seat up from the first citizens and included the loan for the truck. We maxed out the line of credit and we put it in the general fund. It was like $254,000 okay. that was left on the line of credit that we um, took out. So we do have the exact million dollars. Well, so that's part of that last year max that was for the truck, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. But then we got the $289,194.36 in impact this month. Yeah. And it's probably the one up on that. Well, gas prices are up. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, We'll have to make a determination at some point about if we want to take a hundred thousand dollars and put it right on principal, which I recommend or yeah. or suggest idea. heavily. We shouldn't have any major issues with our equipment and everything, you know. Because we have enough money for the truck to pay for everything and everything else is still in decent shape, correct? Yeah. Even the bubbles still running. You just, you just jinxed it. Yeah. Um. No, it's still in, still in good. But I mean, if we're getting it over two hundred thousand dollars for impact for the next couple of years, then I would suggest heavily taking at least half of it and putting it on principal. Well, I think we're already made the roller. I mean, it should, because this has been. In two thousand and nine. Right? That, I thought it was before that we got this roller. Wasn't it? I don't remember. Because the old one, the dry pumps in it went. It was cheaper to get rid of it, and I think they were still bullshit enough. But well, that's something to look at. And at the, the end I of mean, the roller, the only reason why I'm saying it, because the roller has a lot of hours on it. Even though we take care of it and everything, right. it, we got a seat in there with a little bit more, but seat is nothing compared to 
it's running, you know, kind of like, well, Wednesday, I told Kim, I said, you're coming in and you're going to be rolling. Because okay. we're going to be doing these blacktop roads and it just takes too long. I mean, I've done it by myself when I, when KO is off, but it's just too much and he's going to be hauling to him in. Okay. I can't sit there and jump and run and try to get that done before he gets back. And well, we can look at the condition of the roller and how many hours are in the end of this construction season and see what. Right. 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yeah, looks like uh, that it insured for 115. Yeah, I do know some stuff. Not much, but some. But I know it, it does a lot of rolling. And that's the only thing. I mean, like I said, I think if it happened again on the drum, we're just going to keep running it and just at least get them rolled. Because I said, I'm not going to set it up. I mean, it helps. Not as good, but it will help. Okay. You know. So, 109000 from Sherman Canal going into for citizens general funds. Or do you want that? Or did we say impact? Impact. And the balance. The CNN impact. No, the um, for, citizens. for citizens and the balance into the general fund. Our tires should be coming. I think this week too. So you'd be getting the bill from Troy Tire. Are you? They're from the roller, I mean. Well, fix the tire. You ordered yeah. more. No, I have. I got a order too. They're weather checked and they're. Okay. They can hear and hear. I mean, right now it's not bad, but this has never had no tires on it. Just I a roller? It. Yeah. I got and a bill for fixing a tire. But. Yeah, because that, like I say, they're, the weather checks and stuff in them are just getting so long that it ain't taking nothing for just a little stone to poke them and no sense sitting there. And I don't know how much that will, bill was, probably two, three hundred. Have them fix it? No. Mm -mm. So they would have had to put calcium and stuff back in. I was going to ask you if they were loaded. Why are they yeah. loaded? Because you can't do nothing without them being loaded. You uh, you go up. over a little bank or whatever. You can't you back up. No. Oh. Okay. You know that they they put new tires on a forty twenty one time and they didn't put no tubes in them. They loaded them. Yeah. So they last longer. They did have to mine forward once. And it kind of put the two two minute because it couldn't stop it leaking. Okay. But you know what they're doing now? They're they're actually starting to use the antifreeze and stuff instead of one of my tires has got peach juice. Yeah. Yeah, they're finding that the tires are lasting longer. Well, Lynn Shen says he don't have a loaded tire on the farm. Really? He has like rotted rims and yeah. Like I say, the that's why they're going to windshield wiper fluid and anything that's not going to freeze. They're finding out it's lasting longer than the calcium chloride because that it just eats them tired, you know, rims right up. I hate to see what these rims are going to look like when they break them down and put new tires on. I'm hoping that they're in good enough shape that we don't need rims because. That won't be good. They went from 800 to, since the last time of bottom to 1500 and some a piece. Okay. Like, Were we on the next bottom? Well, you guys yeah. were talking earlier about what was the issue on May case? There was a pothole yeah. or a hole in no, hole. I think it's in the pipe. I know it's in the pipe. It's right where it crossed by it across. Is it Because I know. It's the one that just passed Horton's. Yeah, because I'm flat. Yeah, and that's where we put a little bit of gravel, and then we've been just trying to hit them. And I told Kale, I said, I'm just gonna get things covered in for right now and see what we, because this gravel wouldn't go very far. So I told him, I said, I'll pick a day, and we're just gonna go around where I know that we need it. You know, because I need some down on Parsons, and I don't think there's anything over this way. 
basically down that way because the leaks get in gravel over this way. And I got a couple rock ledges that I know they're there and I'll pick up, but sometimes you think you've picked high enough and wham, I mean, it hits some rock ledges pretty hard. And I said, well, we'll get through the summer and okay. get where we can get done. I know next year, hope things change because we're going to be needing gravel next year. Because 4,000 ton don't get you very far. You know, not if you're going to maintain the road right. But yeah, when you start getting down to the rock, it's very hard on the clouds in the winter. Can you look to see how much gravel we did? I want to say we did more than 4,000 pounds. Yeah, it was 12.5. Okay. But Gary told us that we're, because the trucking cost us so much, because we thought we could get down there and we we're getting it off the mountain. Okay. So we got a 40. Is that what you got, got down here? 4,000 tons from up there? Mm hmm. And like I said, we really got to watch how we do that because plus or minus is a thousand. It's only seven, like anywhere five to eight hundred ton either way. And I said, oh, I hope it doesn't get figured out. So how did the coal patch and uh, stabilize ended up to 500 a piece? Yep. And I did get. I got us a good discount on both of them, and I wasn't backing down because they went from 22.75 or 85 a ton, got it down to 19 on the one B, and then about the, the and I did. Kid, he uh, said, "Well, can you ship it back?" I said, "If you think I'm shipping it back on our money." I said, up your ass. I said, you're the one who screwed up, not me. Because we were only supposed to get eight loads. Well, it was all dirty one beat stone. And I said, I am not paying it. Well, he went to 15. I said, no, oh, because it was 19 something. And nope. I said, I'm not accepting it. No, um, 19. Then he went to 15. So, and I said, nope. Then he got down to 12, and I said, well, let me sit here and figure a little. And I said, okay. I said, oh, he goes, I can't do any more. Because Brian knows you, and, um, which I knew him back, you know, with Bart. Like I told him, you tell Brian it's going to be more expensive for you to bring a loader up here because I will not load it for you, and I am not going to pay to have that ball hauled back down there when it's your fault. So We shouldn't have to. Nope. So he goes, well, I sit down and figure we're going to lose, but the, would this work for you? Okay, I take the 1B and mix in with the pile that we have right now, which I knew we Even though still, they're dirty? Yeah, because your anise gets dirty. But you can't get too much, too much, dirt. too much dirt in it. But when I was moving the, prep, the pile around, I was looking, and it's like, it's not going to hurt, you know, hurt the oil and stuff. So we just mixed it in and. Get the yeah. fire company down here and run a bunch of water in it. Right? Yeah. I don't know if that would help or not. But. We wouldn't want to get caught running that soot off without having a soot tank. But yeah, so we made out, you know, made out on that. And like I said, it was the best I could do. And if I could have talked to Brian, I probably would have whittled him down to 10. But Who's this new guy? Uh, he's only been there for a year. Yeah, I could tell. Because now they call it AO2 anti skid, something like that. I said, why, why did you not say something when I called you? Do I want this or do I want that? Because the stuff we got actually is what the state uses in the winter on the roads. And the anti-skid? Yeah. And I said, anti-skid has always been your fines. 
Well, that's called AF2 now. Why didn't you tell me that? You know, instead of going through it. Well, wasn't really thinking. You're putting that to a pug machine. Yeah, I told you that. Yeah, yeah, I guess you did. You know, I got it all written down here. And so I said, it's not my problem, you know. But we needed, we actually got three loads for nothing. Because like I told them, I only ordered this many, not that many. So if the bill comes, let me know if it's any higher. From Hall Bakers? Yep. Okay. Because There's a bill up there. I would be down and I'll be calling them again. And because I will get it straightened out. Because like I told them, you're not going to screw me over. But I'll go out of Savona if I have to. Okay. I'll have you look at it for a second. And then you said you're doing what? Who Savona? Huh? They have Savona? No. Who, that, who, who who's Savona? That's Hanson in Savona. Oh, we've gotten, we've gotten some we everywhere. Work. Yeah, years ago we did. But it's just a little bit more, you know, dry as a lot. Oh. So you're doing block top roads on Wednesday? Yeah, we're going up. We're just concentrating on um, McMurray Road and Sealy right now to get them, because I, like I told Kale, we're going to do them so they're done right. They'll last a lot longer, because who knows the next time when, because we're only putting a single coat, right? Mm -hmm. So I figured two years we're going to single coat it again, but the road's so far out of shape. Coming down that hill, that's 12 and a half percent. That's how much that road has settled. And it's like, phew. Well, really, you're talking Sealy Road, or? On your road, on the Murray Road. And it's like, I told Kayla, I said, this ain't good, which I'm laying at 12.5% right now. And I said, this is, the sides are just folding right down on it. We already put, what, I think three loads up over that hill just to try to bring it up on you that 6%. You mean the corner? Going up on the... By quarters. Right there by yeah. quarters? Yep. Where all them... Well, well that was digging. good so when they were hauling manure. Yeah. And they didn't stop. I don't know. Yeah. We the other end was getting a little bad with our guy hauling, and we told him he had to stop. Yeah. So it did. just got so hot, and like I said, I gotta get because we've always put cold patch, and the problem is that sun beating that hill right there, just softening it right up. And I, and Gary said, well, but and I didn't. I thought it'd take a little bit more, but I think we got it to a point. Uh, I can just put a skim of cold patch down across that. And Remember when I first started to shift our road, that lady that... Okay, what's the uh, annual business? Are we on old business now? No, just that um, we paid the, the invoices to EMC Insurance. So it was $24,253 for the property and liability. Four thousand three hundred and fifty six for workman's comp, so get the refund no, check, yeah. No. Total of twenty four thousand two hundred and fifty three. Four thousand three hundred and fifty six for workman's comp, nineteen thousand eight hundred and ninety seven for property and liability. Um, and no. But they backdated it for um May seventeenth. So we should get a full refund from Gannon. But I haven't got anything yet. Must be Phil Ruffles' old house, 1043. Appliance problem, spillage from draft hood. Whatever that means. Is that the, is that the one? Yeah, that's Phil's old place. Hmm. Is that who that is? Who bought that? I don't know, the name's on the mailbox, can't remember what it is. Yeah. I don't know how. Joanne told us, but I don't know only what it is. Out in the, you only see them once in a while. They both work from home. They got a baby, uh, probably two years old. No, I also got a letter from the Bradford County Election Board. They wanted an update of any resignations or death of board members. Which apparently there was a little bit of a confusion of who needed to be put where on the primary. But there's nothing to update. So Becky uh, Gilliam is putting in a room yep. above ground pool. Yep. We met with Sam Palmer on Saturday. He's putting up a new garage and Attempted to meet with Santa, but Young Sam. Yes. You say you didn't meet with Santa. I said uh, um, scheduled to meet oh. with Santa, but I waited until 
20 after 10. Then I went to the bank and then I went out of town. Sent you mean one by Gary? What are they doing? Pull cover oh, over. Pulls over their hot tub. Oh, then lean to or addition okay, to the lean to on the, the shed they have for outdoor kitchen. So they need to go to code inspections too. They know that. The star of easy, that's one here in my pad. The double line. Yep. Is he related to her? I don't know. I see he added on to that little shed. Is it's it's a bedroom? Like the shed to the house. Yeah. They took the trailer out. And yeah. He found that double white. He said it was advertising a Lancaster farmer. Some lady couldn't make her payments anymore. Oh, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Well, I don't well, know. He didn't say where he got it, but then he added the shed to the house. No, yeah, the well, the shed was already there. Yeah, it connected to them. Yeah. Close it in. Said he's going to use it for company. When the they wife came. was mowing yard with a baby on her farm. Yeah, tonight. Is that all we got? That's all I got. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody else got something else. Make a motion to adjourn. All right, second. It. Yeah, but yeah, we'll be over there Wednesday, March. I told Larry I was doing ceiling. I said, I guess probably we can go right down there and maybe say they could get, do, do something for us someday. I don't know what, but. And what are you, what are you talking about? Cranville Township. Oh, the end. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not doing all the way out through there, are we? All the way down the black to the East Cam Road, yeah. Really? Hmm. Very much more. No, but. Is there some work to be done? Yeah, I already did some work over there, but do we ever get anything from them? I don't have them lately. Because like I told them, I said, why do you want me to keep fixing it? It's your road, and we're not getting no money. So somebody just needs to get a hold of them and say, hey. What you road's know, that? At the end of Sealy Road, on the other end. Oh, just Greenville. above the noise, down. So we got, so they won't do nothing to it. And it was getting so bad that I told Kayla, I said, we're not going to destroy our trucks. And they did come over one day. Oh, and we did that up on Park Road. They come over and hauled Help all the material up to us. And I said, at least we can get something out of yeah, it. Yeah, something like that. You know, so, but yeah, like I said, I ain't going to keep putting money in if we're not going to get something back out of it. Did you ever go up in oil parks road? Yes. You would oil it all the way up. Hopefully they'll step in right up. Went up there and we turned around in a field there, but the yeah. pipe across that pipe. And yeah. Started just across the pipe down to where the milling started. Almost the milling. Oh, you didn't? I say I wanted to get right through the middle. No, I didn't. But there's a light coat down through there. Well, maybe if I remember next year, I'll just cut it down to two tamps at the end. Yeah. Right. If anything, just put oil on it because it'll hold that a lot.